Now the commencement speakers will typically also wish you good luck and extend good wishes to you. I will not do that and I'll tell you why. From time to time in the years to come, I hope you will be treated unfairly so that you will come to know the value of justice. I hope that you will suffer betrayal because that will teach you the importance of loyalty. Sorry to say, but I hope you will be lonely from time to time so that you don't take friends for granted. I wish you bad luck again from time to time so that you will be conscious of the role of chance in life and understand that your success is not completely deserved and that the failure of others is not completely deserved either. And when you lose as you will from time to time, I hope every now and then your opponent will gloat over your failure. It is a way for you to understand the importance of sportsmanship. I hope you'll be ignored so you know the importance of listening to others. And I hope you will have just enough pain to learn compassion. Whether I wish these things or not, they're going to happen. And whether you, you benefit from them or not will depend upon your ability to see the message in your misfortunes. But you should, unless you are perfect, it does not mean you don't make any changes. In a certain sense, you should not be yourself. You should try to become something better. The Greek philosopher Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. And one important clue to living a good life is to not try to live the good life. The best way to lose the values that are central to who you are is frankly not to think about them at all. Over the last couple of years, I have gotten to know many of you young men pretty well, and I know you are good guys. But you are also privileged young men. And if you weren't privileged when you came here, my advice is don't act like it. When you get to your new school, walk up and introduce yourself to the person who is raking the leaves, shoveling the snow, or empty the trash. Learn their name and call them by their name. When you pass by people you don't recognize on the walks, smile, look them in the eye, and say hello. The worst thing that will happen is that you will become known as the young man who smiles and says hello. And that is not a bad thing to start with.